G'day viewers, my name's Dave Lonigan, Arctic Film Productions. Now what I want to talk to you today about is permafrost in the Northern Hemisphere. So that's Siberia, North Canada, Alaska, Greenland, the Arctic regions. Now permafrost is defined as any type of ground that has been continuously frozen for a long period of time. Around 25% or a quarter of the Northern Hemisphere is covered in permafrost, the landmass. 25% of the land mass in the Northern Hemisphere is covered in permafrost. Now in its normal frozen state, the decomposition of organic materials within those soils is held. So um, the carbon monoxide, the methane gas, it's, it basically, it stays in the ground as long as the ground's frozen. Now you've got an increase in air temperatures in these areas, uh, Siberia, Canada, Greenland and Alaska, the air temperature's increasing the sea temperature is also increasing. Now, that is speeding up the thaw of the permafrost, which is releasing more methane gas into the air. Now, methane is 83 times more potent at capturing heat than CO2. So, as the permafrost melts, methane goes up in the, in, in the air, you get an increase in, in air temperature as well as what we're, we're doing ourselves from the continuous burn of fossil fuels, which has been going on for the last hundred odd years, hundred years. Um, you increase the ocean temperature, you thaw the permafrost out more. You increase the air temperature, you thaw the permafrost more. So you release more methane, which in effect, <laughs> increases the air temperature yet again. So we're already doing a pretty good job with our own uh, burning of fossil fuels by you know, pumping everything in the ocean, we can, in the air we can possibly find. To increase the air temperature, we're now affecting the permafrost, which is, uh, it's a bit of a double whammy. Now, the melt rate at which the Arctic, this is another topic and I'll get onto this later, um, the Arctic sea ice is melting at such an alarming rate that they believe in 15, 15 to 20 years there'll be no sea ice through the Arctic during the summer months. So what does that mean? Well, you're going to allow more ultraviolet rays into the atmosphere from the sun through the summer months than we were previously getting because white reflects the ocean dust and it just sucks up more heat air temperature increases, the sea temperature increases, you get more permafrost melting and on and on it goes. Now, the humans did a pretty good job combined of combating COVID. We need to take the same uh, stance on the increasing ocean temperatures and sea temperatures. We're only in, we've only got one planet, just the one. We're all on the same planet. So we're all in the same backyard our countries need to get together to combat this problem that we've actually created ourselves. I'll be reporting from Greenland in a couple of weeks and I hope you'll tune back in. Thank you.